And we've started the recording again. Uh, so, Ramirez, are you there? Uh, I don't think he's even connected to the call right now. Okay. All right, well, I'll wait for him for a moment. Yeah. So, for the record, yeah. the plan is to ride Fish Jesus to get up to the tent to the Kraken's face. Okay. And attempt to hand land mull on the Kraken. Okay. Um, all right, well, uh, Ramirez is a little st stunned by being attacked, so he's not going to do anything right he is, now. Um, he, is, he, is, he is practicing his swimming. Uh, apparently, apparently. Um, so <laughs> Makes the most sense. He was stunned by that attack and is thus not going to do anything, and I don't, I don't know. Why, uh, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> I'm annoyed. It seems but like he, he just went dark. Like, maybe he doesn't have an internet connection anymore. Yeah, who knows. Anyway, he does instantaneously heal, though, so he's, you know, that's that's some good news. Um, so. Um, all right, so... You're grappling... a guy. Yep. I'm grappling... I'm really annoyed that he's not here right now, because it's like, yeah, I... I'm in a position now where I might have to kill his character because, like, he's right there, just... and I don't know how to get him out of here. And it's like, and, and like, it wouldn't just attack you, it would attack him, too. So... He just healed the damage he took, didn't he? Yeah, but... He's still... He's still a bomb. <sighs> okay, hold on. Do um... you have any other way of contacting him? No. I mean, I sent him a message and he hasn't responded yet, so. Alright, whatever. Um, okay, it, it's gonna reach in. Um, it's gonna reach in with the two big tentacles and uh, it's six smaller tentacles and it's also, it gets closer and it has a big beak that's ready to bite things and it's going to Attack the two of you. Um, tentacle rate goes after you, Reinhardt. What, your AC is 22? Yeah. Uh, it's going to attack me even though I'm on top of the fish Jesus. Uh, yes. Okay, so it goes in and it clobbers you in the back. And, I guess they're um, not considered allies. Yeah. What's that? I guess they're not considered allies. Uh, no, well, it, 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 it's, it's, it, the big tentacle is going to come out and hit you in the back while you're holding him. So it's not going to attack him just yet. Um, so, okay. um, 28... Like, okay, so it's just smacking me. Yeah, alright. Okay. Uh, he Anyway, it gets a 28 plus 18, it hits you. Um, you take... Okay. I'm just going to damage you off the bat because, you know, things will get weird here. Um, you take... Yeah. Let's see. Uh, 19 damage. And it's going to do something. Divide by 2. Uh, that's right. Oh. Uh, so that would be 9 damage. So, so, you're at two twelve. All right, um, and it's going to use its other ability. I want to say, um, seven proved grab, constrict successful grapple check. If you need, yeah, okay, proved grab. I hit with the yeah. Okay. Um, make a strength check. Oh, uh, to make sure I'm still grappled on him. Yeah, just but go ahead. Go ahead. Alright. Twenty-seven. Uh, okay. Uh, twenty-nine. It just barely, barely beats you. So it hits you in the back, uh. and then that tentacle also like wraps around you and grabs you, and so now you have a situation with the big tentacles holding you. And you're holding the fish Jesus. And that's weird. Um, so, yeah. Hmm. Oh, I was doing grapple check against this tentacle. Uh, well, it, it, it's grappled you. You're grappling fish Jesus. So that's how yeah, I'm... no, that, that's... I was confused what the roll was for. Yeah. Yeah, well, it, basically, yeah. It, after hitting you, it's going to attempt to grab you. So the the, okay. the counter to that is you make another strength check and you beat me in the strength check. Um, yeah. Do I have anything yeah. to help with that? Uh, 
Mm-hmm. Its other big tentacle is also going to like beam you in the side of the head while it's holding you. So, uh, let's see. Uh, 39 hits. So, 9 plus 20, 12 equals 21 divided by 2. 10 damage. Yep. Count to 202. Okay. 202. Um, it's already grappling you, so there's no point. Uh, the other tentacles... Uh, Back in one goes to Ramirez. Highland or yeah, yeah, one's going to go after Ramirez. Uh, 19, it hits him. Sir, his name is Highlander McHighlander. Highlander McHighlander. Uh, he, he takes, takes nine damage, damage and it's going to try to grapple him. him. The upshot of this is I do have his character sheet, so I can just run him solo, kind of, sort of. Um, uh, let's see. He's, He's at 108, 108 and strength check. Makes 27 versus natural one. He's been grappled with a tentacle. Uh, it's got five more tentacles. One's going to go after you. Uh, let's see. Two plus. Yeah, this thing's an asshole. Uh, two plus 23, so it makes 25 hits you. Uh, you're going to take eight damage. You take four damage. Okay. You're at 198. Uh, I got four. Oh, I take nine damage. You, you t- it, it, it dealt eight damage and you only took four. Uh, and it's got, okay. four, it's got four more tentacles. Uh, another one's going to go after you. I thought you were still uh, dealing with Ramirez. Uh, there, yeah, I already, I already dealt with him. Now it's attacking you again. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, another tentacle hits you. You take nine damage, but you you you, you divide it by two. So you take him to the four. You're at 194. Thank God you got this, like, thing that reduces damage, though, so that's a good thing. Uh, three more attacks. Another one goes after you. Three more attacks. Yeah, three more tentacles. Uh, yeah, makes sense. 36 hits you. You take 10 damage, reduced by two. It's five, so you're at 189. Um, another, one more goes after you. Natural one. Okay, um... Another one comes at you, and you're like, no. So when the tentacle comes in, you 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 take your hammer and just kind of swack it, and it hits that tentacle, and that tentacle like reacts in pain, and the creature's going to take it's, it's it's basically going to deal damage to itself. So it takes ten damage, uh, unreduced. Okay. Um. I'm still grappled, right? You are still grappled, yeah. All right. Uh, three. Okay. Okay. And it's got one more tentacle. Uh, uh, let's see. Another tentacle's going to go after you. And it's... 32. Um, 7 damage divided by 2. You take 3. You are at 186. 186. Yeah. And the bite. Uh, and then it, it moves you in for a bite. It's going to try to take a nice bite out of you. Um, well, it saved me a lot of movement. Yeah, I uh, guess. 39 uh, hits, so you take 22 damage reduced by 2. You're at, uh, That's 11 damage. So, 175. Uh, yeah. You're at 175. Okay, so um, basically it's mostly... It, it, it's grappled Ramirez and, and hit him, but mostly you get thunked with tentacles left and right and start swatting you all over the place, banging your armor. And now it's bitten yep. into your armor, and it does... It like, your armor is reducing a lot of the damage, but it still hurts a lot. Um, so that's what this thing yep. did. And back in hell, meanwhile, um, the female Cenobite is going to attack Devdin again. Um, Devdin, you're still grappled by the, the chain. Yes. So uh, the female Cenobite mo- uh, moves in with another of those nasty blades, and she's going to try to get you close and just slash you across the neck. Um, what's your AC again? 22? Because I am grappled, it is 16. 16, okay. Uh, alright, 20, non-natural. Uh, she comes in and slashes you and, uh, it barely misses your jugula and, like, digs into your chest. Uh, and you take... 
Uh, four damage. Ooh, no, wait. You take 20 damage. Right. I'm at 177. 177, okay. Uh, 177. Okay, there you go. Uh, Pinhead. All right, Pinhead has used his signature move. And um, now it's time to use the better shit that I gave him. Uh, first things first. All right, uh, Pinhead smiles and it's like, it has begun! And suddenly he finds himself wreathed in flames. And that's all he's going to do for now. Okay. So. Uh, Devdin, it is your move. You are still grappled by um, one of his chains, and. Uh, oh, I almost forgot. Uh, actually, the chains do something to you. Um, almost forgot that. Um, oh, um. I figured, um. I figured since we're supposed to take sanity damage upon meeting, upon seeing them, I figured the way I'd handle this was we're going to take sanity damage once if they land an attack. So it la Pinhead landed one attack on you, and um, the female Cenobite landed one attack on you. So we'll do that in a minute. But uh, first things first, uh, the chains uh, do... Uh, okay. You, um, you take uh, three subdual damage and one bleed damage. So four? Uh, yes. Well, and, and the bleed damage, I think that's, like, um, continuous. So, yeah, you should be at um, 173, and you have one bleed uh, next round. Yeah, I'm at 173. Yeah. Um, and because you got hit previously by this, uh, I need you to make a will save. Uh, 20, not natural. 20. Okay, Pinhead don't scare you. Pinhead don't scare you. You're fine. No sanity damage. Meanwhile, the, fem um, the female Cenobite also slashed you, so make another will save. They only do this once. Then you never have to worry about it again unless we don't see them for a while. That's going to be a 10. It's a 10? Okay. Uh, you do take damage from her. Uh, you've taken 6 sanity damage. So, what's your What's your sanity? Uh, max is 60, it was at 52, so now it's going to go down by 6 to 48. Sanity 48, 40, okay. 46. 46. Sanity 46, what was your max again? 52? 60. 60. 60, okay. Alright, yeah. Alright, and now it's your move. Um, what would it take to, would I, would I be able to get out of his grapple? You need to make a you need to make a successful strength check or escape artist check, and it's going to be opposed to. Basically, I'm going to make another attack to hold it, because he's not physically holding it. It's it's the ability that's holding it there. So I, I would make an attack roll, and you're going to oppose it with either a strength check or an escape artist check. Um, I'm going to oppose it with. Check. Or you could attack. Or you could attack the chain. I'll. 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 I'll also vouch, uh, vouch that you could just attack the chain. And I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take a twenty-eight on that escape artist check. Okay. Um, that's not high enough. You're trying to wriggle it out, and it's, it's trying as you're trying to maneuver it out of your body. It's it's trying to wriggle back inside of you. Okay. And so would that have been my move action? Uh, you are unable to move. Uh, allow you to attack. Uh, because um, yeah, you can attack, but you can't you can't move basically. Okay. Is there? Is there someone, like, close enough to attack? Oh, yeah. The, the female Cenobite... The female fem Cenobite got right in your face and slashed you. Hmm. Okay. I probably, sh I probably should be just making you just do the escape artist check and failing it, but I don't... 
I don't know. That doesn't feel right to me. So um, well. I feel like it's a move action to try and get out of something. Yeah, I'm, that's what I'm thinking, too. Like, it's a move action to stand up. It's not a full round action. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, it's, not, it's not like your hands are bound. It's just like jabbing you in the shoulder, so. Yeah. So I'm going to pull out my sword, and I'm going to poke this lady next to me three times. Okay. Uh, first attack. Uh, this is why I need a calculator. Really high numbers. Uh, 36. Uh, that hits. Um, two dice, six. Um, 12 base damage, um, three fire. Uh, yeah, what's the total? Uh, 15? 15, 15. Okay. All right, you, uh, you, you slice into her. Uh, next she she kind of smiles at you, struggling, and then you're you're, you're just like, oh, uh huh, and you chop into her, and, like, ah! and she takes second notice of that. What what's that again? Fifteen for second attack or twenty-five, my bad. Hit. Yeah, okay. hits. Sixteen damage. Uh, okay. Uh, you stab her again, and yeah, it's her. <clears throat> Grimaces Final again. There's a 13. Uh, okay. that, mi that misses. She blocks you with her blade. Okay. And she kind of whispers at you, not bad. Okay, so that's your move. And I, I can't bamf right now. I'm kind of, I, It wouldn't make sense to be able to bamf. Okay. Cannot bamf. Alright, that's Devden, Spider-Man. Uh, Alright. I got four four dudes left in the room. Um, so Spider Man, I'm gonna I'm gonna look check the SRD for how this would work because this has been in my brain for a while, and uh, let's see. I just I need to know how magic jars work. Because originally it was just it was just a means of dealing with Alex and the dumb thing he did, and now I, I kind of feel like I need to know how to do it. Um, mm -hmm. um, okay, this is um, all right. Okay, uh, if it's an item that's already made by somebody, what would the like will say be for that? This is like a fifth level spell. If it okay, it's a fifth level spell. Um, what? Who, who would be the caster for it? What? I guess the person who made it. Who would? It, okay, what's the spell? Magic jar. So, a fifth level spell. We're going to assume a wizard made this. I mean, it's either sorcerers or wizards. So, Most likely wizards, because they do more study and item creation than sorcerers. Okay. Um, I mean, if, if there's no... W would I add any modifiers to it? or like? It, it, would, it would be based off of the caster who created it. How would I determine that if they're not here? Um... So it would have to be a wizard of like I think they have to be tenth level for they get fifth level spells. Book we get a book. Wizard. So it'd have to be at least ninth level. Okay. Um, in order 
to create an item on a fifth level spell. Um, which means they'd have to have also an intelligence score of at least 15. So, assuming a 16, the spell would be a fifth level spell, so it'd be 10 plus 5 plus 3. So the, the will save would be 18 at the lowest. 18 at the lowest? Okay, well, this guy made it. All right, so Spider-Man says, like, like he suddenly, like, kind of scratches his head, and he gets an idea. Like, I got an idea. And he pulls off the magic jar. Hey, ugly. And he and he shouts over to the big uh, jagged-faced dude who's been charging up his weapon. And he points the jar at him, and he opens it, and suddenly Agoniste starts sliding forward to him. Agoniste jabs his blade into a wall and holds himself there, and it's just like, and he's not going in. And he just kind of smells, <laughs> Of course. Pinhead comments, Do you think we would fall for such petty magics? Could you actually... Did you actually think you could contain us? And it's like, Spider-Man's like, oh, it's worth the shot. Close the jar. Um, so that's Spider-Man's move. Uh, okay. Um, Reinhardt. Back in the ocean. Yep. Um, the, uh, um, I'm just gonna call him, uh, Fish Jesus. Uh, he, he doesn't want you to hold him. He wishes you would stop holding him. He really wishes you'd stop. So he's going to do a strength check to break out of the grapple. Um, so All do, right. do, uh, do a grapple check. 16. 16, okay. Um. Oh my god. Uh, he's like, rawr, rawr, rawr. He start. you hear him see, saying in, in common, let, let me go, let go! And no, but you're holding on strong. You're not letting him go. Um, All right. So that's the, so that's that. Um, meanwhile, back in hell, Angelique. Um, Angelique failed to stab Spider-Man. Uh, she is, and yeah, he's he, she's like right next to him and hasn't like really gone anywhere. So um, while he's distracted, farting around with the, with the jug, she's gonna move in. Uh, I missed with my smite, so that sucks. But I have other powers I could use. Um. Uh, attack mortals, boost spell like ability, smite mortals. I already did my spite mortals. Um. Uh, okay, do I have any spells I could do worth the shit? Nether trails? No. Obscuring mist? Ooh. Okay. Um. All right. Um, do I have anything else I can use? No. No, I don't. All right. Uh, I need to look up another spell. I need to look up Deep Slumber. Gonna cast Deep Slumber on Spider-Man if she can. Um, all right, if I've got higher hit dice than a spell that like specifies, it just doesn't work on me, right? If you have a spell, what? Right? All right, like Deep Slumber, like it puts ten hit dice worth of creatures to sleep. But I, I'm so, I'm a level twenty-seven hit die creature, so that's just not gonna work on me, right? No. So what's going to happen is if it's a target spell and it has 10 hit die and it's guaranteed, then um, if the target has 10 or less hit die, then it puts it to sleep. Okay. If it has more, it doesn't work, you shut it off. If it's an area of effect spell, it starts working on the creature with the fewest hit die and then drains the hit die until it either runs out of hit die in order to effect with or puts that one to sleep and then moves to the next uh, the next lowest hit deck. Range is close 25 feet plus 5 feet per 2 levels. Um, and she's like level 19. So... I'm here. The target. Ah, oh, there you are. Yeah, Nick, sorry, roll, was... roll initiative. What's, yeah. what's the target for the spell, though? Um, the target is Spider-Man. Ready? Yeah, the target Spider-Man. Alright. Uh, it's just a single uh, target spell. So Alex? Uh, yeah. 
Alright, so let me catch you up on what you missed. If it's a single target spell, then it, then it just, he just shrugs it off. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you you catch um catch him up real quick. I'm gonna I'm gonna use the bathroom real quick, and then I'll describe what happens. Right. So there was never a giant crab. Eddie fucked up. Sorry. As you there was no giant crab this whole time. No. So do you remember that statue of fish Jesus? Yes. Yeah, it's just fish Jesus down here at the bottom. He has a. He has a scepter with a crab claw, and the book refers to him as the claw because of that. So Eddie just assumed it was the giant crab monster, but it wasn't. His okay. real name is Fish Jesus, let's be honest. Yes. So, right, um, was there anything we needed to fight other than the crab people? Well, uh, you have let me finish. You see, we didn't know this until I jumped into the hole and found him. Uh, and Highlander McHighlander over here followed after me because he doesn't need air to breathe since he's a Highlander. Okay. Now it's the two of us at the bottom of the thing and a big... There's a big opening now, and the Kraken is... has shown up as well. Okay. So, there's the Kraken. Its tentacles are reaching into the cave. And... it has grappled me, and Highlander McHighlander. And also however, he's, he's, he's grappling... Uh, however, I, I am also grappling on the back of Fish Jesus, because Eddie told me I could ride him. So I'm going to attempt to ride Fish Jesus on my turn to break free of the uh, Kraken's tentacles. Or okay. I'm going to attempt to tame the Kraken. Whichever I feel like at the... depending on circumstances. Hmm. So I assume you guys are in L15 then? Oh uh, yeah, they are in uh, L15. They jumped into it. You're still up there. Yes. Uh, okay. Just kind of just like like perplexed that you your friend suddenly going for a swim. We'll get back to you because yeah, meanwhile in hell, um, spy, spider. You're a lame who somewhere. can't survive. You're a lame who can't survive underwater. That's your problem. Uh, okay. Unless you have a water breathing That's... spell, which I don't think he has. I probably don't. But yeah. All right. So um. Uh, Angelique and her exposed brain walks up to Spider-Man and just kind of like like reaches out her hand. It's like, why don't you just relax, take a nap, take a load off? Spider-Man looks a little woozy and just shrugs it off. It's like, uh, nice try, lady. And that's what he does. Uh, that's her. Ravenger's unconscious. Uh, Agoniste. Um. All right. Um, he's. Yeah. Uh, after Spider-Man tried to suck him into the magic jar, he starts swinging his blade, and he's gonna chuck his blade, blade and chain at Spider-Man and jab into him. So, Agonista makes an attack. Let's see. Uh, his blades. Darkling blade. Um, twenty-one. That's not high enough. Uh, Spider-Man just you know, like kind of ducks out, ducks out of the way, and it whizzes past his head and flings back. Spider-Man's all right. Um, this is what I was worried about. I worried to be too high level for this. Meanwhile, back in back in the temple of uh, the Kraken, Zin, what are you gonna do? You've seen you saw Reinhardt and Ramirez just jump into a jump into a pool of water. So what's gonna happen? Oh boy! Uh, yeah. Um. I guess I gotta follow after him because I kind of just don't want to be left alone up here. You're just gonna jump into a big, big thing of water. I guess. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm just gonna. I'm doing that. All right. You just, you just, you just jump. Yeah. Okay. You just jump in this big pool of water and sink through this big. Massive underwater. Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yeah. 
Guys, can he swim? You, you, you find yourself swim? in a big underwater cave with a big hole, and your friends are being grappled by this massive kraken's tentacles. And, Eddie, uh, okay. Eddie. Yeah. Import, important question. Mm -hmm. Does he know how to swim? Um, do you have a swim check? I mean, it's the Underdark. There's not many sources of water where he can learn to swim. That's all I'm saying. I mean, it would come down to him making swim checks. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Um, what would I look for holding breath? That's what I'm real. That's what I'm really concerned about. Oh god. Oh god. Yeah, no. you didn't think this through. No. Fuck. I mean, it's a long way back up, and you don't have scuba gear. Oh fuck, dude. Oh why? I I don't know. Why did you jump down into this underwater environment when you don't have the ability to do anything? I wanted to be with my people. Oh, okay. Catching on fire, lava effects, starvation, thirst, suffocation, suffoc water dangers. Would I? I'm going to die here. Probably Wait. drowning. That's what okay. I'm looking for. I I found it. A creature can hold its breath for a number of minutes equal to one plus its constitution mod power maximum of thirty seconds. Um. From what's your what's your constitution monitor? Three. What's what's your constitution modifiers in? Three. Three. No, what's your constitution score? Like your total... Okay, constitution score is 16. Okay, alright, Jesus Christ. Okay, you have 32 rounds before you have to make checks to not suffocate. Okay. So I'm going to make a little note here. Because if I miss an opportunity to kill an Alex character, I will never forgive myself. I mean, the thing specifies cop modifier... Not actual constitution. Um, the SRD I'm looking at says score, and um, and I'm inclined to not murder you. Uh, so yeah, and uh, it's minutes, it's minutes. So ah, that's that's why. Yeah, okay, rounds. So yes. like thirty-two. Uh, a round is six yes. seven seconds. So let me take a look. Hold on. Thank so you for inspiring me to do math. Thirty rounds. Um. So his mod fire is what? How many minutes? Or how many? Uh, you have three minutes two, and twenty seconds of air left before oh, you run out. Oh, Lord. So, uh, so that's good. Uh, that's cool. That that's pretty. You know, and you know, that's pretty good holding breath time. But um, yeah. all right. So um, you you've it it, it, it's it, just, gonna, it it just specifies that it has a minimum of thirty seconds. Ah, okay. Anyway, you 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 sank to the bottom, and you're in this underwater cave, and your friends are being grappled by a massive kraken, uh, and they're also holding on to a fish. Jesus, Reinhardt, what are you gonna do? All right. So I'm next. So I'm like right up in the kraken's face, correct? Uh, it did just bite you, yes. Oh, so tempting. Can I can I even attempt handle animal while I'm grappled by it? Yes. Oh. Now, how exactly does handle animal work? It's basically Since a diplomacy check for an, it, it's a diplomacy check for animals. So you basically okay. you would talk to it. Um, so for people, you would typically be like, "Hey, hello, friend. Let's not fight. Let us be friends." And you know things like that for um an animal you'd be doing the same thing but me more like come here boy come here boy you know typical typical shit okay that's a bad idea but we're gonna do it anyways i'm gonna attempt to handle animal okay whoa what the fuck is this um yeah make make your roll Seventeen. Okay. Um, now you're going to be unfortunately dealing with a penalty there. Uh, just minus four, so it's actually a thirteen. Um, What's the penalty for? It's because it's. Oh, uh, oh! You'll find out. You'll find out. Trust me. Hold on. I had to All find right. the skills. It's because it's a demonic kraken, and I'm paladin. Eh, something like that. All the work. All the evening. 
Okay. Man, why can't I have just rolled a nat 20? That would make things so much simpler. Okay, um, that would have been nice. Um, so, well, truth be told, you probably wouldn't have made this score anyway. What do you exactly do to it in terms of trying to talk to it? Ah, hello, friend. Greetings. I am Reinhardt. What is your name? Okay, so you don't actually, you're not actually, um, trying to talk to it like an animal, you're talking to it like a person? Yes. I'm okay. getting at the respect it deserves. Okay, so... I'm gonna say this is more of like a diplomacy check as opposed to a handle animal check. Uh, it narrows its eyes I mean, at you and it's like... My name... I'm, it's, my, my name is ancient and powerful and and if you were to hear it, your, your mind would melt out of your skull. And right now I am eating you. And it resumes to continue eating you. Yeah, I figured that, I figured it was very intelligent. So I didn't think talking to it like it it, stri here, it straight up come answered here, you. It, it straight up answered you in common. It it can talk. <laughs> yeah, I, that's what I figured. Yeah, that's why I didn't go with the. Come here, boy. Come here. Who's a good boy? Yeah. Who's a good boy? I figured that would just be even more negative yes. modifiers, and it would just be very insulting. Y you would be correct. Now, um, Ramirez, since he's not here for some reason, just heals and is just, like, struggling and not doing anything. Um, is he not going to attempt to break free? No, because the player's not here, so I'm not going to do anything with him. I, I, I don't know what happened to him. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm going to jump into combat and then immediately disappear. That's smart. Okay. Um, so you are grappled, so he is going to constrict and squeeze you. Very, very tightly. Um, and... Let me take a look. Do I have to make a strength check for this or not? Uh, let me double check what Tau Constrict works. Hold on. Uh, basically, you just automatically take damage from this. So, oh, okay. Alright. So it squeezes you. You take 20 damage. It's reduced by... Divided by 2, so you take 10. Yep. Uh, so you're at one seven. You are one sixty five. Hey, where's the brown? What's that? Brown table cord. Hold on. Who's that? Yeah. You see the. So you're all killing everything that's going on. In that okay, you're at one sixty five. You see the problem I'm having with this is the fact that I can't really just break free of the kraken. Because this just has eight more chances to just grapple me again. Uh, well, you could, um... Yeah. It depends on what you want to do. You could just attack it, which would require letting go of fish yeah. Jesus. Uh, you could... Um, uh, attempt to break yeah, through the grapple one. from, um... Where you're at by the post it, it depends on what you want to do. Um... Uh, so but it, anyway, it, it squeezes... If I... Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. If I attempt to do ride, if I attempt to use my ride skill on Fish Jesus, okay, would I be able to ride him to break free of the grapple? I don't know what to tell. I don't know what to tell you without meta gaming. Ask Davis. Ask Davis if that's a good idea. Ask Davis. Davis, you. you okay, I'll. Okay, let me let me rephrase that. How does the ride skill work? It's it's for how well you do riding on a horse. Anyway, um, he, he rolled a 27 to swat you in the head with his other big tentacles. So that's what he's going to do. And he hit. Um, I'm very sorry about this. <laughs> so, um, You're not sorry. I mean, I'm kind of sorry. But You're not sorry. Yeah, I have to die at some point. I, what, do you really? Trying to, rot, trying to tame a Kraken is a good way to go out in that, my books. Okay, fair enough. 19, uh, it's reduced by 2. You take 9. Um, okay. Wait, um, uh, okay. So, 154? Um, you were at 165, so I've got you at 156. Oh, one, 156. Yeah, yeah, two more hit points for now. Alright, uh, other three tentacles. So there's a spell called, uh, Skeleton Crew. 
and you just create a bunch, take a bunch of corpses, um, make them out of bones, and they create a ship. All right. They just did not do it. One tentacle hey. is gonna. One, one of the. Yes, sir. Why are they pulling the door? I keep telling all the door and bolt it. You didn't bolt The back door is bolted. I'm not going to it. Uh, one of the six tentacles swats Ramirez in the head. Um, and, alright, hits. He takes nine damage. I'm gonna use, um, Ramirez like a stress ball right now. Especially since he heals. Um, one of the tentacles is already grappling him, so that's gonna constrict on him. Uh, so, he takes 20 damage. So he's at 98. Uh, I've got four more tentacles left. Uh, so one of them's going to hit Zin in the head. Where's Zin? Um, hi. Hi. What's your AC? 11. Uh, 39. Hit. You get thunked in the face with a tentacle. You take seven damage. What's your max hit points? Um, maximum hit points right now. Yeah. Is one. I have 132 health. Right 132. How much hit points do you have at the at the moment? Uh, 90. 90. Okay. So you take seven damage. You're at 83. Okay. Also make a strength check. Okay. I can see the future, and I don't like it. <laughs> Mm, I don't like uh, <laughs> What'd you roll? Alex. You see it. Oh you, oh, you, oh, you wrote it? You see it. Uh, he crit, so uh, that tentacle not only swats you in the face, it grapples you. Um, I got three more tentacles. Uh, another one's going to go after Reinhardt. Uh, 18 plus 23 hits. You take 14 damage divided by 2. You take 7 damage. Um, I'm open something I didn't want to open. I don't care about Spotify right now, no. Alright, so you're at uh, 149. Uh, two more tentacles. Another one goes after Reinhardt. 18 plus 23 hits. You take 8 damage, divided by 2, 4, you're at 145. And last tentacle. Goes after Zin. Zin, what's your AC again? Eleven. Eleven. Okay. Um, forty hits you. Uh, you take seven damage. You were at one. Um, How much damage did I just take? Six. Uh, you took four from that second attack, so you're total at one forty-five right now. Where am I at? You're at seventy-six. Okay. All right, and that's all the tentacles. You're all grappled, and it's gonna pull someone in for a bite. Pulls Zin in for a bite. You want to kill me badly, don't you? I, I want to kill everybody right now. <laughs> so, um, Specifically me, though. Well, yeah. I, I kind of want to kill Ramirez more right now because he's not here and that annoys me. And But that would kill everybody because he would blow up. Um, so, 35 hits. Um, let's see. Um... Where's the... Okay. This oh. crack in this bullshit. Uh, you take 23 damage. Oh. So you are at 53 health. Oh. As you get nommed on by a giant beak. And you're like... Argh! And that does not feel good. Oh. 
while trying to hold your breath. Okay. So, um, that's not good. None of that's good. Uh, meanwhile, in hell, um, there is a Cenobite right in front of you, Devden, who you slashed at twice. And she's going to do something. Female Cenobite. Cenobite. I poked her twice. You poked her twice. Um, let's see. Uh, that would be dumb. That would be dumb of me to do that. Um, takes a five foot set back. That wouldn't do anything to you. That wouldn't do anything to you. That wouldn't do anything to you. Uh, and suddenly she starts coughing and she vomits up four vipers on the ground. And there are now four tiny vipers that will go at the end of the round. Oh. Oh. And they all like are circling you, and there's there's these poisonous snakes that are suddenly in the room. Oh, I had fun building these spells and abilities for these things. <laughs> I had a lot of fun. Um, all right, Pinhead. All right. Now I know this next attack should go towards Spider-Man because of what it does, but we'll see. I'm gonna roll randomly. Um, three times per day. Uh, yeah, Spider-Man. Okay, so Spider-Man just uh, dodged an attack from Agoniste, and um, uh, Pinhead roars, Time to burn! And he fires a big blast of Hellfire, which he can do three times per day. Uh, no save. Spell resistance applies, which I don't have. Um, Spider-Man takes three dice six fire, and uh, yeah. And, um, that, that hurts. That hurts bad. And I can't heal that, so. Spider-Man takes 14 unregeneratable damage. At least for the time being. Um. That's not fun at all. That's not fun at all. But I don't feel too bad for my NPC right now because he's insanely high level. So, um. Hold on. Spider-Man gets blasted, and... Spider-Man is at 419. Damn. Yeah, I, I, yeah I, I, I'm bullshit now. I'm total bullshit now. Because I'm, I'm basically... Um, epic. Um... Alright. I'm going to factor in, like, uh, our separate hit points, too. So he's like... He charges up a big ball of fire. He's like, burn! And he blasts Spider-Man. The Hellfire um, strikes Spider-Man in the back, who's starting to quip. And it hits him right in the back. And it he catches fire. And suddenly Spider-Man calls it, Ah! And suddenly... The entire costume, like, skitters and leaps, starts almost leaping off him. And the, the face mask of it, like, turns into, a, like, a big maw of razor-sharp teeth and shouts, Rah! It's like in agony, and Spider-Man, like, quivers as he's holding his side as he's been badly burned. Um, so. Ah. Oh, we have found something that can cause you pain. So. So that's Pinhead. Devden, what are you going to do? Um, hold on. Hold on a minute. I take, uh, I take a bleed. Uh, yeah, you, you take, um, you take two subdual damage, uh, and, one bleed? uh, a two bleed, actually. You get, like, one, like, one new one and one from the, from the previous round. Uh, so you should be at 169. And you notice that, it, uh, that this thing, whatever it is, it's digging deeper in your arm and causing, trying to, you to, Get you to bleed more. Um, yeah, what are you going to do? Uh, what is my surge diet? Hold on. You can also attack it if you want. Um, okay, I attack the chain. Okay. Um, I'm going to say... I mean, I guess go ahead and roll. Fine. I'm going to say it's got like a 5 AC right now. Well, it's a good thing I, uh... 
25. All right, roll damage. Fourteen. Uh, you shatter the, the the chain, and it's still like there's still a hook inside of you, but it's no longer pulling on you, and it sort of kind of goes limp. You are now free of the you're free of the chain. Um, can I continue my attack action since there's someone standing next to me? Or yes, you may. To... Yes, you may. You can do three awesome. attack. You can do three attacks a turn, right? Yeah. Fuck him up. Or her up. I crit. Okay. Uh, you 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 break the chain, and how do you want to attack? Um, I basically take a take my blade and go for the chain. Um, near the near the hilt of the blade. Um, or I should say the cross guard. Um, okay. and smash through the chain as to not damage the end of my sword. And then I come back and I foil her right in the chest, right in the nipple. Okay. Um, and I twist as I come, go in and then reverse the twist as I come out. And I'm going to go back for another one after dealing damage. Okay. You go stab into her chest and like, ah, she moans in pain as you pull out, um, You may deal your damage or deal it all at the end. I'm, I'm easy. Um, that is a 13, uh, two being fire. Okay. Uh, two total, uh, 13 total with two of it being from fire damage. All right. Um, and then I'm going to roll for my next attack. Being an 18 to hit. Um, all right, that hits. Uh, 16 damage, three of it being fire. Uh, okay. Um, and then I can bamf again. So, I'm gonna do that. Teleport right behind her, and then shove it right up the back of her spine. Okay. For a 36 to hit. Uh, that hits. Oh, that's a critical. That's a critical threat too. So. Okay. Um, roll to confirm crit. It was a twenty-six hit her AC. Uh, twenty-six hits her AC. Yes. That is a crit. Okay. So that means I roll a whole extra die. So that's normal crit. Then eight, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Isn't it just nice when you get to roll 11, die six? That is nice. It's even nicer when you have a tray to roll all this in. That's true. This is where she gets knocked unconscious, by the way. We'll see about that. As the DM prepares his ultimate technique, ass pull! I'm just glad you didn't drop her in one move like you did in the Halloween game. It's like, I had to fix that. I need to make Pinhead badass again after Flutter Budgets. Oh, and yeah, I'm going after him, too. No one escapes the Cenobites. The Deadites told me about the bullshit you've got up to. Um, that's gonna be 51 damage. 51 damage. Plus... Alright, she's unconscious, shut the bleed. fuck up! <laughs> plus 8 bleed. Plus plus 8 bleed? Yes. Yeah, she's out. Um, okay, so you're, you're stabbing her in the back, do you want to describe it? Uh, as I bamf behind her and I go for my guaranteed sneak attack, I shove the blade right up the back of her spine, shattering each bone as I go. You do so, she subtles and gasps out, and then suddenly, instantaneously, you don't even see her really transform, suddenly she turns human again. And she's got, like, short, brown hair and actually looks very, very beautiful. 
and just looks almost relieved. And then you pull the blade out, and she just falls and claps motionless to the ground. Uh, Devin licks the blood off his blade. Um, the blood tastes bittersweet. But yeah, okay. Um, so um, two Cenobites are down, and they both happen to be the female Cenobites, except for no, we got three. We got three male f f Cenobites. I was about to make a terribly tasteless joke, but never mind. Oh. Uh, so uh, but yeah, no, no, no. We got still we Angelique's still up. We still got some girl power here, so that's okay. Um. But yeah, you have dropped um, the female Cenobite, or um, uh, Deep Throat, as she's known as. Meanwhile, um, Spider-Man. Uh... Spider-Man just got burned very badly by Pinhead, and he's going to stupidly charge Pinhead. And, it's like, and, and suddenly, like, the symbiote likes moving off him. It's like, you die! Venom, wait! And... <laughs> Before he realizes it, he leaps over to Pinhead and is going to start wailing on Pinhead Tyson style with his awesome spider strength. Which will have good effects and bad effects. Um, because I need I need to have Spider-Man, you know, just, just, just punching punching Pinhead in the head with like his, you know, just like my action figures. I need I need that to happen. I need that, you know. And actually actually hold on that fault. We're gonna do that in just a minute. I'm gonna pause the recording real quick. Because we're almost at an hour. 